Namaste everyone. Welcome back to my channel, The Wannabe Scientist. Today I'm combining two of my favorite things, mantras and science. You might be wondering what mantras has to do with science. Let me tell you. Mantras are not just words. They are sounds. And science shows us that sound has power. Whenever we chant a mantra, these vibrations help our body, our mood, and even our brain. Isn't that amazing? I say my mantras after I wake up, after my bath, and before I go to bed. Today, we are going to look at the most beautiful mantra written by Sri Madhvacharya when he was a kid just like me. It is called Kanduka Stuti. First, I will say the mantra, then I will tell you the meaning. Ambara Ganga Kimbi the Padaha Padatala Vida Lita Guru Tarashakataha Kali and Aga Kshwela Nihanta Sarasija Nabadala Vikasitanayanaha Kala Ganali Karpura Kaya Sarasata Shakalita Rikushata Nibaha Santa Tamasma Patu Murari Satata Kasama Java Kagapati Rataha Mantras are more powerful when we understand their meaning. Let's try to understand the meaning of this beautiful sloka. Ambara Ganga means the celestial river Ganga. Chumbita Padaha means touched or graced by Krishna's feet. This describes Krishna as the one whose feet grace river Ganga. Padatala means the sole of the foot. Vidarita means crushed. Shakata refers to a cart. Guru Tara Shakataha refers to a heavy cart. This refers to the story of baby Krishna crushing the demon Shakata Sura to hid in a cart. Kaliya Naga is the mighty serpent Kaliya. Shvela means playful act. And Nihanta means destroyer. This describes Krishna's playful yet powerful dance on the serpent Kaliya, subduing him. Sarasija means lotus and Navadala means fresh petals. Vikasita Nayanaha describes Krishna's eyes as blooming as fresh lotus petals. Kalaghana means dark clouds. Karbura means street. And Kaya refers to his body. This describes Krishna's body as dark like rain clouds glowing with divine light. Shara means arrow and Shata means hundred. Shakalita means shattered. Ripushata means enemies of God and Nibaha means groups of many. This describes Krishna as one who shattered multitude of the enemies of the gods with hundreds of arrows. Santatam means always and Asman means us. Patu means protect and Murarihi is Krishna as he is the slayer of the demon Mura. This prays for Krishna's constant protection in our lives. Satata means constant and Gasa means speed. Majava means swift and Kagapati refers to Garuda, the king of birds. This describes Krishna as the one who is constantly swift and rides Garuda, the king of birds. And there it is, the meaning of the Kandukastuti, composed by the great Sri Madhvacharya. It describes Krishna's divine qualities, his grace, strength, and kindness. It prays for his constant protection and blessings. Thank you for joining me to explore the beauty of Kandukastuti. If you are inspired by the mantra, please leave a comment in the comment box below. And also, 
don't forget to like share and subscribe so that we can keep learning together